A6 Durton Lane to St Michael's Road. In the urban area now we're watching vehicles up ahead for any indicators, any brake lights. There's that vehicle in front indicating and the vehicle in front of that, the silver car going into the offside filter lane to turn right. Watch those vehicles that are already sat in that offside junction potentially wanting to pull out and turn right in the same direction as us. You know, sometimes they don't actually see us coming, we might be masked by the vehicle that's actually turning right in front of us on the motorcycle. So looking well ahead, we're still in the urban area, we can see lots of vehicles coming towards us, lots of vehicles up ahead, and we're coming to a major crossroads, traffic lights, vehicles all slowing down, parked vehicles offside, lots of information to take on board, just keeping the speed down nice and steady, moved out slightly on this uh, Ford Focus, potentially we could look at some uh, filtering at that point, but as we're on the approach to these crossroads, one of these vehicles ahead might just decide to turn right or left because it's, un it's unaware of the actual location. It's, it doesn't come on this route every day, so potentially lost. So they're just going to turn right or left without any notice. So we're having to come to a stop, waiting for the vehicles ahead to move. This is your chance now just to have a little look round. Uh, vehicles behind, potentially vehicles up ahead. Do we know what route we're on? Is this a commuter run for us? Is this a route we're just using to get from A to B? So we can see the vehicles up ahead now moving out slightly towards the crown in the road. Are they going to be turning right? We're looking to go straight on, so we're going to move in slightly to the near side. But again, just be aware of vehicles that are masked by the vehicles that are turning right there. Anything could turn across our path. You know, that van right at the head of the queue there could just flash a car out, couldn't it? Or potentially turn right uh, in front of us. Looking well ahead. Still lots of junctions to the near side, hazard frequency as I describe it, lots of things going on, hazard frequency is high. As we're starting to move out now towards the countryside, but we're still in this 30 miles an hour speed restriction, so lots of information to take on board. Stationary vehicles near side, passenger just getting out, just opens the door and just stands there. A sandwich bar on the offside there part, so again any vehicle movements or moments notice will just think, oh I want to go in there, and off they go. Road going around to the left, good cross view across the tops of the hedges. We can see any large vehicles potentially coming towards us. It's quite a wide road, it is the A6, uh, cycle lane on the near side. So again, all these things you need to take on board. We need to be looking well ahead. Oncoming motorcycle and cars. Road going around to the right, slightly out of view. Tucking ourselves in towards the near side to extend that view around the right hand bend. We're watching for any brake lights, any indicators. An advisory, sorry, we're moving up towards the 40 miles an hour speed restriction now. So increasing speed ever so slightly, but I'm keeping a good safety margin be between myself and this Ford Focus up ahead. Junctions offside and near side, the offside ones first, with potentially a filter lane by the look of the uh, road markings. So we're waiting for any vehicle movements or watching that vehicle, particularly on the near side, the red vehicle sat in that junction. As you can see, I've moved out towards the white line just in case the foot slips off the clutch or they lurch forward ever so slightly, we've already built that into our riding plan. The riding plan is based on what you can see, what you can't see, what you can reasonably expect to happen and have a contingency plan if something does go wrong. Cycle lane on the near side and I'm sitting out towards the right hand side of our own carriageway towards the white line but bearing in mind any safety issues. So any large oncoming vehicles or any vehicles that are straying towards the white line, I'm always going to sacrifice my position for safety. Long straight road, uh, following vehicles, so we can virtually by our position see down the offside and a slight movement of our motorcycle would be able to come in towards the near side and look down the near side for any potential hazards. Houses now on the near side and offside, driveways, and they're all blind aren't they? All we're going to see is the nose of a vehicle potentially emerging at a moment's notice. Looking well ahead, another filter lane on the offside, parked vehicles near side. Lots of information to take on board. So looking well ahead, we can see this tractor now. We can see vehicles, uh, all the line of vehicles behind it, looking to overtake it at their earliest opportunity. They're actually using the filter lanes, uh, the right-hand filter lanes, to overtake. Always quite dangerous. We've got to worry about vehicles turning left. We've got to wait, worry about that vehicle emerging off the near side junction, out of its driveway. Again, watch these vehicles now as they move into this right-hand filter lane. Are they turning right or are they actually going to go past the tractor? If we follow them through at their pace, then all of a sudden they stop and turn right. We're left in kind of no man's land, so we're just waiting for this focus to overtake it, and then it's our turn, if you like. We're going to hold back and make the decision when we want to overtake it. We're not going to use that filter lane. You can see how much of a wide berth he gave it. We've got towing in arrows coming now. Hopefully that the tractor kind of moves in slightly. If there's enough room between us and the double white lines, we can go past there quite safely because we're very narrow on a motorcycle. Easy overtake for us, and we've avoided the meeting the sandwich, i.e. the vehicle on coming. 
Straight away, we're warned of the uh, um, cycle lane ending and the brow of a hill. What have we got on the other side? Potentially pedal cyclists, potentially other road users stopped, waiting to turn left, parked, one emerging from the near side. You can see him come to a complete stop there as the front of the nose of that van dipped. So he saw us quite late, didn't he? Potentially he could have just pulled out on us. So good safety margin now, still behind this focus, not looking to get any closer at this moment unless he slows. We're still in that 40 miles an hour speed restriction area. Still got the cycle lane towards the near side, damp road surface, road going around to the left. Street lamps in operation, that'll give us, if you look at the line of the street lights, that'll actually give us a good indication of the severity of some of these bends. Little bit of debris on the road now, trying to avoid it where we can. Always sacrifice that position for safety. Got the sun behind us, so we've got a good view, a good clear view up ahead. But potentially that sun can actually mask some indicators or brake lights on vehicles. Parked vehicles again near side on that junction, moving out towards the, the crown of the road in anticipation of this left hand bend to extend our view around it. We can see what's happening up ahead. Any vehicles stopping, any vehicles turning right or left. We're looking well ahead, we're still in the 40 miles an hour speed restriction area. As we go over this slight crest in the road, we're warned of a near side junction. You can see the bright sunlight behind us now large bus sitting in that junction, he's looking towards us, so he's looking directly into that sunlight as he picked us out. He's, a, he's obviously going to pull out on us and we've just rolled off on the throttle now in anticipation and we're just very, very mindful that that red car doesn't follow it out as well. Back on the accelerator under constant acceleration.